Hey, what up? Sometime Cabs here in Poppy's Kitchen. This morning we're gonna do something unusual for breakfast. If you have a TikTok account or an Instagram account, uh, you probably never have seen this before, but I'm just saying. So I found it in my closet. Might as well dig it out and see if she still works. It's called a Toastmaster Snackster. Oh yeah, it's a Snackster. And uh, obviously what it does, it will make a snack. Got these two little indents for a piece of bread, indents underneath for the contents. And you can do uh, two at a time, it looks like the top looks the same. I guess you put your filling in there, shut this thing down, lock it in. It has several little lock points on there, so if your sandwich is pretty big, lock it down. And uh, that's, that's about it. So I'm doing breakfast. We've got these just about cooked. We're gonna just, uh, we're gonna cook them till they're dry, but soft cooked. I'm not gonna get too hard, because they're gonna cook a little more in the snackster. Something I like doing with most of my foods now, um, I add a little bit of paprika. It doesn't add a whole lot to it, but it gives it a little bit more flavor. And we're gonna layer it uh, some ham. peppers and a slice of cheese. That one's ready to go in. In the top. And that one's ready to go. I'm assuming it cooks from the bottom and the top. Let's see. This, this square one seems to fit a little bit better. This one's a little bit off. off. Oh, look at that, that's bad. It's not even closing. Locked in on that first one. So the Snackster is locked in on the first one. That's the second one. Get a little bit of steam coming off of it now. Leave it a little bit hot. Almost three minutes. That's a three minute timer right there. So you do pretty much have a closed up pocket sandwich. You toast it pretty good on each side. We got some leakage there. Oh, it looks good. It's real good. So I've got it cut, and it's it's real juicy and runny. It looks very good. I cannot complain about that. It's got some little crunch on it. The flavor is good. It's all mixed up, melted. It's very hot. So that was with the plain bread. It turned out really good. Um, they are little pockets. I can really see, you know, someone filling these with different kinds of stuff that's already uh, making you know, pizza toppings in there, or Philly cheese toppings in there, or just stuffing it with ham and cheese and heating it up and letting it go like that. You can see that happening. That turned out nice, and so you got just a little triangle pocket with, made out of bread, and it cooked good. This, this, this. There you have it. Snacks for after 25 years. How about I give that snack snackster away to some lucky viewer? <laughs> Like, subscribe, leave a comment, say I want it, or just say Snackster, or just say no way, and I'll put you in a drawing, and I'm gonna mail this out to you. I will clean it up before I send. Sometime Kevin, Poppy's Kitchen, with another 25 year old appliance. Still works, still works good. Catch you guys later. All right, so what I found out about this toaster, Toastmaster, Snackster. Yeah, this Toastmaster Snackster 
it's, it's about 25, 30 years old. Um, I bought it years ago. It was in the closet. I haven't used it in years. It works just great. But I don't have the instructions to it. So when you get it, just look them up online. And what I saw was you're supposed to cut the, the crust off the bread. And also, the whole thing is, is non-stick. So basically, you can pour um, cake batter on it or, you know, uh, not cake batter, but we could make a muffin or whatever like that. But you can put pancake mix on there and make, you know, pancakes or whatever. So, I don't know. I'm, never, I'm not going to use it. So, if you want it, hit a like, subscribe, just leave me a comment, whatever you want to do, and I'll put you in a drawing and I'm going to mail it to you. When no strings attached. All right. Sometimes Kev is in and sometimes Kev is out for today.